hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys in life they say be careful what you wish for you might just get it so be careful what you wish for you might just get it a lot of you would recall how aggressively um the emir of kano lamido sanusi went after the good luck jonathan uh, regime especially good luck jonathan himself you remember when this emir was the then cbn governor when he was making up all manner of lies about missing billions of dollars and we've not heard anything about those billions of dollars since and that person that was meant to be the, the number one banker in nigeria was mixing figures up in the nigerian treasury saying it was 40 billion then it's 20 billion then it's 15 billion and he, he was just making up all of these figures but insisting that there were monies missing so now now that our good luck jonathan has been replaced we've not heard anything about that since there was also a period in that time where um, uh, Lamido Sanusi, then governor of the central bank, gave uh, 1 billion naira, over 1 billion naira actually, to the uh, Buhari campaign organization because he said that, that is part of the community outreach of the bank, that that's one of the things that the bank can do. So he actually gave the Nigerian state's money to the opposition party that was looking to wrest power from the government, which he was serving. This is, these are some of the things that this guy was doing against the good locker Jonathan regime well now guys the chickens have come home to roost the chicken has come home to roost for this fella so guys I bring you this Nigeria is bankrupt due to Buhari's bad economic policies and this is Emir Sanusi saying this so Nigeria is bankrupt due to uh, Buhari's bad economic policies that's the headline and this is a uh, emir sanusi saying this so now that uh, buhari is not showing the gratitude that he thought buhari will be showing him instead buhari is using the dollar loving governor of uh, kano state uh, abdullah ganduje to attack the emir so he's now seeing that uh, this guy is not actually the, the person that i thought he was which everybody had always insisted but none of them listened but now they are saying his true colors and they are all now getting a lashing on their butts now they are all out crying so the headline once again nigeria is bankrupt due to buhari's bad economic policies this is according to emir sanusi so now let's see what he has to say emir of kano Mohamedou sanusi has once again called on president buhari to remove fuel subsidy to avoid the country going bankrupt emir sanusi who is well known for his tough comments on national issues declared the buhari administration's economic policies as unfavorable adding that nigeria Nigeria is on the threshold of a bankruptcy. He identified the bad economic policies of the Buhari administration to include subsidizing petroleum products, uh, electricity tariffs, and using 70% of the country's revenue to service debt. Sanusi made these revelations at the ongoing third national treasury workshop organized by the office of the accountant general of the federation at Coronation Hall, uh, Government House, Kano State, where he advised Buari to cancel uh, subsidy in petroleum and electricity tariff if the economy must stabilize. The country is bankrupt and we're heading to bankruptcy. What happened is that the federal government do pay petroleum subsidy, pay electricity tariff subsidy, and if there is rise in interest rates, the federal government pays. What is more life-threatening than subsidy that we have to sacrifice education, health sector, and infrastructure for us to have cheap petroleum? If uh, truly President Buhari is fighting poverty he should remove the risk on the national financial sector and stop the subsidy regime which is fraudulent he challenged president buhari to tell nigerians the fact about the economic situation and also act quickly on it because the country is already bankrupt 
since I have decided to come here, you have to accept what I have said here. And please, if you do not want to hear the truth, never invite me. So let us talk about the state of public finance in Nigeria. We have a number of very difficult decisions that we must make and we should face the reality. His Excellency the President said in his inauguration speech that his government would like to lift 100 million uh, people out of poverty. It was a speech that was well received not only in this country but worldwide. The number of people living with poverty in Nigeria are frightening. By 2050, 85% of those living in extreme poverty in the world will be from the African continent and Nigeria and the Democratic Republic of Congo will take the lead. Two days ago, I read that the percentage of government revenue going to debt service has risen to 70%. These numbers are not lying. They are public numbers. I read them in newspapers. When you are spending 70% of your revenue on debt services, then you are managing 30%. And then you continue to subsidize uh, petroleum products and spending 1.5 trillion per annum on petroleum subsidy. And then we are subsidizing electricity tariff. And maybe you have to borrow from the capital market or the central bank of nigeria to service the shortfall in electricity tariff where is the money to pay salary where is the money for education where are other government projects sanusi lamented that for 30 years successive governments have had this project called petroleum subsidy insisting that this is the right time to stop it so as to save the nation's economy so this is now what this uh, sanusi fella has to say uh is obviously referencing the petroleum subsidy but it's really a dig at the buhari regime and you remember in the drum beat to the 2015 election Buhari told us that there was no such thing as petroleum subsidy and the whole thing is a scam so the petroleum subsidy that was 600 billion under good luck Jonathan is now 1.5 trillion under Buhari now so if it was uh, a scam when it was 600 billion naira under good luck Jonathan then it is a crime against human humanity that Buhari has now taken it to 1.5 trillion because something that he said did, did not even exist and he has doubled and tripled it within the space of four years. I don't know what demand there is that has increased triple fold or more for him to have uh, tripled the amount of uh, petroleum subsidy being paid uh, by the Nigerian government to oil marketeers. But uh, this is what we have. So now this is what this guy is now saying that uh, this petroleum subsidy, you have to remove it. But then you cannot remove petroleum subsidy in Nigeria. Because if you remove petroleum subsidy in Nigeria, then you will be doubling the price of petro uh, petroleum instantaneously and people will not have it there'll be riots on the streets because the country is already groaning under the weight of 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 of, of, of hardship so if you now say you are removing a petroleum subsidy uh, which does not even exist anyway and nigeria should not really be importing petroleum anyway so, but if you are saying you are removing the subsidy then really i'm not sure if there won't be riots on the streets but the people will certainly not have it because you remember that thing went from 95 naira to 145 naira just overnight so now they are going to now double it or effectively is what is now saying so and by the way if they removed part of the subsidy but then the subsidy that they are paying is now triple fold where, where is the mathematics of that how does that equation balance because i don't get that but that's an aside so now if, if effectively what they are doing is they are waiting for dangote this is effectively what the nigerian state is doing they are waiting for dangote to complete whatever it is that he's claiming that he's doing but uh, but then this guy is not going to complete it in a, in a hurry because they are giving him uh, dollars at a cheaper rate for all these projects that he's, uh, he's doing so he's just buying dollars at a very cheap rate at, at a central bank and 
round tripping it and doubling his money so why why would he have a double your money deal that is running on the side and say he's going to complete uh, the project that is using as the excuse for his double your money deal you know so the guy is not an idiot he's a billionaire so uh, you can't be a billionaire and be an idiot the two don't match so if they are waiting for dangote then they will, they will be waiting until godo comes you know because this is just a pipe dream but then this petroleum subsidy of course is a complete scam because we have uh, oil refineries at least three or four in the nigerian state which should have been and could have been and can still be quickly repaired to at least insulate the nigerian state and we should have a stockpile as well that would at least last five six years under any circumstances so this should be the strategy but then this is not the strategy of course because the strategy is to continue to use the the oil subsidy scam to loot the nigerian treasury into a, a mass you know this is effectively what they're doing so uh, so conversations in the comment section is really what i'm inviting but the, really the conversation that i'm looking to have is uh this um guy this uh emir sanusi fella is now turning against his own uh, bingo you know so this is now what is going on they are now eating their own so now this is the conversation that i'm looking to have with you guys so come join me in the comment section to have that uh, conversation but before you come join me in the comment section to have that conversation click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button that way you are notified every time i drop a new video then come tell me what you are making of the relationship between emias anusi uh, uh malam buhari and we are going via the route of a uh, dollar loving ganduje so all of the main characters are up for grabs and they are up for discussion so come have a chat with me about all this in the comment section so i'll leave you here meet you in the comment section but here i say peace